I awake in a bright white place. Three strange words greet me. One of them is in English and two are I don't I don't even know. Words cover my vision. Very few of them are English. Shy dwarf seems to be an important one. Somehow I seem to have been transformed into an amorphous black blob. It's a very fashionable little hat, actually. Physics seem to have broken, which is unfortunate. Fortunately, my way of controlling my new body has been written magically inside of space. All of these unusual instructions seem to be, have been written in three languages. Two of them I don't even know what they are, and one of them is fortunately English. One of them says play. I jump into it and float into a magic land of squares. I approach the squares. The squares say hello. This is actually fairly creepy. They welcome me, and then I fall into my death. I silently scream inside of my skull. They welcome me to some sort of un unimaginable hell. Oh wait. Shy dwarf, rather. Vist up. Let's vist up. Oh, pretty. Hey, bugs. Or birds. I bumped into them and they seemed verily... Verily. They seemed verily unhappy. Giant tab pools. Pad poles ruptured out of the ground in some sort of disturbing display of something or others. Strange tones randomly made noise. A giant bug flew around. Exit was written near it. I... I missed it. I... I am not sure what this means. I decide I must plunge into the darkness. And by darkness I mean pure brightness of white variety. -ness. I decided this gigantic black horrific bug monster was my best last hope of escaping this white land of black toadstools. Which is considerably more horrifying than one might think from that description. Oh my god, it's a gigantic bug monster. And we bumped into a box, which made a gong sound. I found myself back in the land of transparent rectangles and squares. I find I can jump much higher now. Oh god, everything, oh god, what the... the uh, my brain seems to have exploded inside my skull. Thousands of me's seem to have spawned out of nothingness. They all jump in unison with me. Some of them willingly falling to their deaths. I can only wonder what is going on but I also must wonder if I truly want to know. The red box seemed to be my escape. Except jumping on it didn't seem to do anything. So I decided to jump on it again, despite my better judgment. Jump! Excellent. I stood on the red box. Oh god! I felt very claustrophobic for some reason. I stood at oh god. The walls seemed to be closing in on me, pushing me to- oh. The walls continue to close in on me, and decide, I decide to moonwalk into a hole. But I'll never fit in this passage. What what, what must I do? I, I wander off into the nothingness, but it doesn't seem very helpful. I decide to wedge myself into the- Oh god, I- this, this is not good for my back at all. This isn't good for anything. Oh, wow. I can- defy gravity with my weird black amorphous body. Then I slid upwards into a mess of concrete and white glue. And then it melted into clouds and part of my brain started to bleed inside my skull. A gigantic black horrific creature was in the sky. It had a key so I decided to stab it in its eye and steal its key. What appeared to me Mega Man platforms appeared and disappeared in the sky. I had to decide to jump on these platforms. 
despite having been burned so many times in Mega Man games. I got a key. Oh crap. I decided to go greet this black hatted thing in the sky. It rather looks like me. I wonder if it could be a long lost relative. Or perhaps even a former self? A future self? But I fell right through it, so I decided to go to the exit anyway. I decided to go to the- there we go. I'm amazed how thin I feel right now. Whee. I decided to moonwalk my way to the exit. It's fashionable. Whip! Up. Meanwhile, something happened- whoa! I jumped in the air and then a gigantic bulb thing fell out of the sky. I feared it would electrocute me, but it was my only means of escape. I found myself in a marsh of some sort. The leaves were falling, leading me to my inevitable death. Unevitable is even less evitable than inevitable. It is absolutely not evitable in any way. Bubbles floated from the whiteness. It's like blackness, but white. But I decided to jump into a bubble and see what it did. And I got stuck in a bubble. Uh, apparently very light. Oh god, Jesus Christ! Ear. Hello, ear. I'm not gonna go in that, am I? Oh, crap. I swore to never drink again. But it was already too late. I was in a gigantic creature's ear, dodging large pustules of earwax. And pulsating globular things I didn't want to touch because they looked very nasty. A gigantic pulsating red blob was all that greeted me, but it looked so homely to me, and it really went well with my hat, so I had to join it. I have no idea what the hell just happened. So I took a nap, on a cloud, because I'm badass like that. This was Shy Dwarf by, uh, Jeremy... Placky Yaramar Placky All rights reserved Jeremar Placky dot XF dot CZ I don't even know what country code that is. I don't know anything about what just happened right now. I'm I'm gonna say that. But this is Shy Dwarf by Amantia Design, I guess. That is a website. You can go to it. I there will be links. Link shall be had. There's some stuff. Anyway. This is a game that someone showed me and I'm like, what the hell? And then I blacked out for a few hours and then when I came to I decided I should record what just happened. It's an old game, but um, I thought it should be shared. It's not very much. It's not on YouTube very much, so you should experience the weirdness. I, I hope you have enjoyed whatever the hell just happened. It There wasn't much of a game to it, but it was still very enjoyable and weird. And I like some weird stuff. I like, you know, weird stuff can be very fun. So yeah, I give this an 8 seagulls out of 4 black holes. Point one bell swinging perpetually in the sky. That's my rating. I stand by it. If you don't like it, you can just you can just jump out of the sky and fall into a marsh of white tadpoles that grow out of the sky or something. Also, I think I need my pills.